Okay guys, this is the $900 build, and in this one you're going to be able to get a lot more for your money. And um, I really do mean a lot more. Also, I wouldn't really recommend, uh, you're going to get an i5, but I wouldn't recommend overclocking it until you get into the $1000 range, because then you just won't be able to put as much money into a graphics card. And when you're gaming, it's it's seriously, it's, the most, it's a lot more important to get a better graphics card than it is to downgrade your graphics card just so you can overclock your CPU which probably you're still going to be bottlenecked by your GPU with an i5 no matter if it's overclocked or not you're still going to be bottlenecked by the CPU and not the GPU well I mean the other way around you're going to be bottlenecked by the GPU so once you get an i5 you can pretty much get it you can get any single GPU and there's going to be no bottlenecks whatsoever not for a few years anyways Okay. Um, Asrock seems like a really good budget um, oriented company, and um, it's it's good to find one with uh, some nice features. Um, this is recommended by Tom's Hardware. Uh. Let me just think. Look at this one real quick. I just want to make sure before I, um, okay, PC. Recommend anything, to be honest. And this one will be perfect. <laughs> now, with the i5s. Um, you're gonna want to go with one of the sub two hundred dollar ones, uh, not thirty five seventy. Um, like I said, if if, revolved, if your budget's like twelve hundred dollars, throw in the thirty five seventy k, and yeah, you'll be good to go. And um, if you're not overclocking, make sure to get the uh, Ivy Bridge twenty two nanometer. Okay, let's see what we got here. Um, the best for your money. Um, let's see. Hmm, it seems like the um, 3350p is the best for your money, really. Um, you could post. You could put down an extra uh, like twenty dollars and get an extra two gigahertz if you want. But this one also has a low outage. So that's that's really nice. Okay, um no matter really what the budget is, unless it's like two K or above fifteen hundred, you might as well just go get eight gigs because there's really no point in getting more th than eight gigs. Okay, that looks like good RAM. Um See what we got so far. So far, you've got an i5, an 877 motherboard, and a uh, oh, from Azrock, and Crucial Ballistics Sport 8 gigabytes, two times four, two DIMMs, DDR3. Okay, um, DDR3 13. That's, um, I'm not gonna change it, but. 1600 megahertz you, you probably won't notice a difference but uh yeah you should probably get 1600 megahertz since it's the same same cost um actually I'll remove it it's it's really quick to find so I'll well just remove that real quick 8 gigabytes DDR3 1600 it's really easy to find so um you shouldn't have a problem there. Uh, lowest price. Ooh, desktop memory. Uh, Kingston HyperX, and it's eight gigs. Hmm. And that's a that's a really good deal. Wait a minute. Nope. See, this is what we gotta look out for. Um, Intel recommends 1.5 voltage, so I wouldn't get that. To be honest with you. Uh, instead, go ahead and pick up. 
Um, G skill value uh, 1.5 voltage. Okay, that's what you're gonna want to pick up. Watch out for the voltages because um, the 1.65 voltage it's uh, it's uh, fine for AMD, but I wouldn't get it for uh, Intel. Okay, one terabyte internal hard drive. If you want to throw in, just you could actually just get a like 128 gigabyte SSD, and if you're gaming, you'll have enough for like four or five games. I mean, that's assuming you have a computer for you have another computer for everything else, which you know some people do. So, um, yeah. Like I said, even on the $900 budget, you're going to want to put most of your money towards your graphics card. It's going to be a lot more beneficial in gaming. Obviously, if you're doing other things, like rendering the i7 is uh, very ideal. Okay, I would actually get this right here. Um, wait a minute. Never mind. Uh, keep getting close to actually accidentally recommending a uh, Western Digital Green Drive. Which would be a uh, really big mistake, to be honest with you, because those are 5400 RPM, and it's really gonna be slow, really slow, um, booting in OS at being. Uh, obviously, I can't hear myself, so my speech skills are a little impaired. Oh my God, it's pretty fail. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that. Um, 5400 RPM, trying to boot an OS on that, it's going to be a huge fail. It'll do it, it'll just be really slow. So, um, power supply, you're probably going to want to go with a uh, CX500. Be more than enough to power this build. It's $39 to 3 bait. I'm telling you, these are the best power supplies for the money. Um, obviously, you can get a better quality Seasonic if you want to spend $120. But, um, yeah. Um, I don't throw DVD drives in here. And why is because you can install Windows from a USB drive. It's actually faster than the CD drive. You can also just buy all your games in Steam, which is what most people do nowadays anyways. So, that's why I'm just throwing these out of the door. And, um, if you want to get one, they're $15. It's not really adding much to the budget. Okay, what else do you need? Um, let's look for a quick case. And then we might be able to pick out the GPU. And by the looks of it, you're going to be able to fit a good GPU in this build. Um, there we go. And now, um, we're not going to get a twenty dollar case this time though because in this budget you could easily fit uh um let me look uh for a decent case you know what i mean you like you don't want to get a uh like i wouldn't put these components in like one of these okay but um i think the um if only I don't know if the, uh, what's it called, Cooler Master Half is still on sale, but if it is, you know, definitely pick that up. It's a great case. Um, I'm looking to see what they got for cases here. Like I said, you can fit a good quality case in this build. <laughs> okay, um... Just one second. This is taking longer than I expected, but I'm trying to not recommend something cheap and uh, garbage. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah.
looks like I'm going to see um, Elite 430, um, a great case from the reviews I have seen. So you actually have um, approximately uh, um, like $400 for a graphics card. So, um, honestly, I'm going to recommend the HD 7970. Okay, this is a high, it's the highest end graphics card from AMD. You're getting two free games, Crisis 3 and Bioshock. This is a really good deal. Um, I mean, is it really worth getting an SSD and getting a K version of the i5? Just so you can get like a 7870 instead of one of these, I, I really I don't think it is. Um, like look at this. Okay, Gigabyte gr Gigabyte's a great graphics card company, and um, this is uh, this is the overclocked version. This is the one gigahertz version. So. Um, it's 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 up to you. All these brands, they're within like twenty dollars or so. So you, if you want to get a different brand than Gigabyte, go ahead. Gigabyte's a great brand. You're getting two free games, and it really brings the value up. So this is actually under the budget. So what I'm gonna recommend is that you go ahead and get an SSD. Okay. Um. But I'll leave the SSD up to you. I mean, you're not going to get more frames per second with an SSD. You, you you aren't. But what you will get is better overall performance. And by that, I mean shit will just load faster. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. You get two free games. Uh, um, honestly, um, actually... This will take only a minute, but I am going to get rid of this because you you might as well just go ahead and go all out on the power supply since you're since you're gonna be putting a 7970 in there. I would go for a um, HX uh, 650 watt from Corsair. I, I think they're I believe they are made by Seasonic, and this is one of the best one of the best power supplies you can get. It's made by Seasonic, and you have all these rebates, so you're still underneath budget. So yeah, um, I just don't want to recommend uh, a really bad power supply to people. Um, I mean, it, 500 watts is probably more than enough for this build. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know if the CX500 has um, uh, two six-pin PCI adapters, so. I, you know, th good thing I just recommended this. Um, there you go. So, uh, this will p ma probably max out every game except for Crisis. No, it'll max out Crisis 3. Um, at, uh, you might not get 60 frames per second if you max it out with all the anti aliasing, but no single card solution can at the moment. So, you should be good to go.